It's not unusual that I've been searching through eBay yet again, but this time I have finally gotten my hands on the original Metal Vermin Lord model. Stay tuned. Now I love the new Vermin Lord kit. You get five or six different variations, it's multiple parts, it's an amazing centerpiece for your Chaos or Skaven army, but I've always had a soft spot for the original Vermin Lord. And this is in the days when models were still coming out in metal. And it's not that they're hard to find on eBay, it's just people have been asking for ridiculous prices. So I've just been kind of biding my time and waiting until I can get one at the right price. And I was considering buying a brand new one just before the end times came out and then it got replaced with the new Vermin Lord kit. But enough talking about it, let's have a look at the original Vermin Lord. Right, so here's the Vermin Lord himself. Now I managed to pick this guy up for... It was just under 16 euro including postage um, which is a fantastic price because I haven't searched for him in a little while but some of the prices were really high and I thought that just if I keep biding my time I will get him eventually and I did and I'm super happy um, I just had to glue him together just before the video um, and I, I was kind of lucky because the guy who sent it he was already it was already clean there's no like bits of uh, metal that I had to clip off or anything. He didn't come with a base but I put him on a 40mm round base. I think that's the base I'm going to stick with him for now. Maybe a slightly bigger one if I can find one here around somewhere. I will switch him to that. But um, he went together really well. I thought I was going to have to pin this hand here since it is metal and that, that's a really heavy part where the hand comes off and he's holding the glaive. Um, but it's it's held pretty well with just the glue. Um, now size comparison, this guy is, he's big, but not new Vermin Lord big. Like, I wonder if I fix this down. Here you have uh, a clan rat, you know. Much bigger than a clan rat, towers over him. He is, he's even slightly bigger than an ogre. Maybe not as muscly, but he's taller. But really, compared to the size of the new Vermin Lord, like I can't, he doesn't even fit on the screen. <laughs> he is the new Vermin Lord towers over him, but he has that character feel to him, that character look, where he still is a Vermin Lord to me. I don't know if I'd use him anymore as a Vermin Lord. Definitely as, um. Like if I was making an army and I wanted to have like a team of the original Vermin Lord or one of the old or smaller Vermin Lord, definitely. But what I was thinking was to use him as either a Warlord or more or probably better off again as a Gracier. Because the, uh, I can't remember what it's called, Vermin Lord, uh, they're very adept at magic but... Um, he is missing his tail that's the only downside to it but it's, it's, it doesn't bother me too much um, I was able to find a tail piece from the Vermin Lord kit so I'm hoping I'll just try and stick that there and hopefully it doesn't look too much out of place hopefully it looks okay um, but then I have this I can't, it's some orb that came with the Vermin Lord kit through the Gracier version so I'm thinking if I stick that on the base somewhere like that that will kind of enhance the gracier feel of it um, and kind of show that he's more pushed towards using magic than anything because I don't want to just like have him up on the shelf I want them to have I want to have him up there for a reason I want them to be a gracier or the leader of some kind of clan or something that I'm wanting to make because like this is one of my favorite Skaven models I absolutely love this model um, and for a metal model it's really great there's no like I have let me look This is a Games Day model that I have, a Skaven one, and his backpack is just, like it's not even finished painted because the backpack is so messed up, the metal part in it, and I hate painting metal models, well I hate painting them, it's just because there's always something wrong with them, but this guy seems almost flawless, like I know the metal bends and everything, um, but... He's going up on the shelf. I'm going to paint him. I'm going to do. I'm going to really put a nice base on him. Get him higher up and everything, and he's going to look great. 
but for 16 euro I was really happy um, I have to put I have to put a tail on him and I have to get a base from him but that's fine even if he came with a base it was probably going to be a square one which I would have changed anyway but I'm really happy to finally have a vermin lord model the original vermin lord model um, this guy will always be the king of the vermin lords to me but if you guys like this video if you like the new vermin lord that I have to add for my ever growing scaven army make sure to let me know in the comment section below hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't and once again thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video